Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner Cause now a wildfire is raging deep inside And my heart strings are pulling like the tide And the match that drew Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living. I hope everyone's having a great day today uh, here in Georgia. It's sort of cooled off a little bit. It feels like a fall day. And uh, we actually have been rain and thunderstorms this morning. And it's really been cloudy. So uh, hopefully we got enough light in here to make this video. Today I'm going to be doing something a little different. Uh, everyone loves tamales, uh, including myself. So I'm going to be making a tamale pie. And there's a lot of different ways to make a tamale pie. And what I'm going to be doing, I'm doing mine just a little different. Mine's going to have a little extra kick to it, uh, more than what you would normally expect with a tamale pie. So uh, I think it's going to be real good. Let me get started on it here. First thing I'm going to do is uh, brown up the uh, hamburger meat. And the recipe will be in the description below. So let me get started on this. Okay, so today I'm using our Cousinart uh, countertop burner. And it takes it just a few minutes for it to reach temperature to start cooking. But I'll go ahead and get this hamburger meat cut up a little bit. So it can start browning. And I'm also going to go ahead and put my onions in it. Because I want these onions to get real good and brown also. And this is one whole yellow onion. Okay, we'll let this brown up a little bit. And this recipe here that we're making today, uh, this is spiced and easy way to make it and not very expensive because I'm going to be taking a couple of shortcuts. We're going to be using some taco seasoning for the seasoning. We're going to be using a box of the Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. And like I said, I'm going to be adding some extras to it. I'm going to put green chilies in it and one can of the uh, Rotel tomatoes. We're also going to be adding red enchilada sauce. So I think it's going to make a real good recipe when it gets finished. Now, uh, tamale pie is not like having tamales. Uh, it does have a similar taste to it, but it has more of a texture of a casserole. And uh, like I said, it's a little different, but I think you'll enjoy it if you try this. Okay, my hamburger meat has browned up now. And it didn't have a lot of grease on it, but I'm going to go ahead and drain this grease off before I add my other ingredients to it. So let me get this drained. Okay, I got as much of the grease drained off as I could. So now I'm going to start adding my other ingredients to it. I'm going to start off with, uh, this is one can of red enchilada sauce. And now I'm going to add one pack of original taco seasoning. You can use any type of taco seasoning you want. This is just what we happen to have on our shelf. And the way it's clumped up, it looks like it might have been on our shelf for a while, but we do 
uh, prep, and we have a lot of things that we've had for a long time. Okay, let this start heating up. I love that smell. Once you add the seasoning to it, it really smells good. Marie just walked in the room. Can you smell it, Marie? Mm -hmm. It's going to make a good meal. It certainly is. <clears throat> I smell the um, onion smell all the way back in the bedroom. Mm. And it smells delicious. <laughs> Okay, the heat's starting to come back up. I'm going to go ahead and add one can. This is the same as Rotel Tomatoes, but it is the uh, Great Value brand. And I'm going to go ahead and put the whole can in, juice and all. And then this is one can of the uh, diced green chilies. And these are not that hot, but they give it a real good flavor. And Mar Marie and I, we both love these green chilies. Okay, so I'll just get these steered into it. Okay, uh, these are looking real good and they're definitely smelling good. I'm going to let them heat up and simmer for about five minutes to get all those flavors into the meat. And as soon as they get through simmering, I'll be back with you and we'll finish this recipe up. Okay, this has been simmering for about five minutes now. And I'm going to add one more ingredient to it. I'm going to put some garlic in there. And probably just use a couple of tablespoons of uh, minced garlic. And I'll just stir all this in with it. Mm, my goodness, Marie, that smells good enough. I could just eat that like it is. I wouldn't have to have nothing else to go with this, just like this. This is smelling good. I'm not sure how good the pictures are looking, but it really is smelling good. Okay, I've got that garlic mixed in there good now. Let me get it ready over here. I'm going to mix up the uh, cornmeal to go on top of it. But I need to reposition my camera, so I'll be back with you here in just a minute. Okay, the meat mixture is finished, so now I'm going to go ahead and start making the top for it. And I'm just going to be using one pack of Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix. And you can use regular cornmeal if you want to. Okay, and I'm going to mix into it. Uh, this is some milk. I think this is about a third of a cup of milk. And I'm going to put about a half a cup of uh, sour cream. Then I'm going to put uh, just one egg. So let me just mix this up a little bit. And on this corn batter here, you want to be sort of thick. You don't want it to be too thin. Okay, now I'm going to add my corn to it. This is just a, I think this is a half a cup of whole corn corn that came straight out of a can. Ok, 
and just get it good and mixed up. I'm going to be putting this in a 9 by 13 pan. And let me see if that's in the camera view there. I think you can see it pretty good. Oh, one more ingredient that goes in this. I almost forgot. Got to put some cheese in here. I'm going to put just a little bit of cheese in with the uh, cornmeal. And probably only about a half a cup in here. Okay, get this mixed up again. Okay, I'm going to set that to the side for a minute. I've already got my 9 by 13 sprayed. So I'm going to go ahead and put the meat mixture in the bottom. Maria might want to save a little bit of this out to sample it. <laughs> Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put just a little bit of cheese on top of this first, but not much. Okay, and now I'm going to take my batter and I'm going to just dollop it on there. Try to get some all the way to the edges if I can. That looks real good. I'm going to put just a little sprinkle of cheese on top of it also. Okay, this is ready now. I'm going to put this in the oven and let it cook at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes to 40 minutes. I'll just watch it real close. We want to start to brown on top just a little bit. And I may add just a little more cheese to the top of it right before it gets done. So let me get this in the oven. We'll be back with you soon. Okay, timer's going off. This has been cooking for exactly 30 minutes. And I did put some aluminum foil on top because I didn't want it to get too brown. Oh my goodness, that sure does look good, and it's just a bubbling. Let me get a picture real quick of it. Okay, this really looks good, 
smelling great. I'm gonna let it cool off for just a little bit, maybe about 15 minutes or more. And as soon as it cools off, we'll come back and cut it and do a taste test on it. Okay, our tamale pie is ready to serve. It looks great, don't it, Marie? It really does. Let me fix you one up first, Marie. You want some sour cream on it? Yes. Okay, there's your a dollop of sour cream. Some green onions. And some tomatoes. Okay, Marie. You want to get a picture of this before I take a bite? <laughs> I'll let you go ahead and take a bite of it, and I'll take a picture of mine. I'll let you do the taste test. Okay. And see how we like it. That cornbread on it looks good, don't it? Yes, and it smell, smells really good. Mmm. It's very good. It's a winner for me. Okay, that <laughs> sounds good. This turned out real nice. Uh, like I said, it's not very expensive to make, and it's pretty quick because you're using the uh, Jiffy cornmeal mix, mm -hmm. and you're us using the pre-mixed uh, taco seasoning in it, mm -hmm. so that helps out a little bit. I think uh, total time for making this was about 45 minutes time you brown your meat and all the other ingredients and then it cooked for 30 minutes. You want to watch it and not let it get too uh, done on top. I did cover mine with aluminum foil about five minutes before it got done to yeah. keep it from getting too done. I did make it with a little extra spices to it so it's got a little extra keep to it and so I think you'll enjoy it. We didn't make it extremely hot because Marie and I don't want anything extremely hot do we Marie? Not really. <laughs> but uh, we got a, today is a real rainy day. Looks like we're going to be getting rain all day long. Our temperature is only just a little over 70 degrees, so feels like fall. This is a perfect meal for the fall weather, isn't it, Marie? Yep. Let me go ahead real quick. Hold oh, got the cameras running. And I'll get me a bite of mine right quick, okay? Okay. Okay, I've got pictures of mine now, so let me do a quick taste test of mine. Mm. <laughs> well, I like that. It's not too hot, is it, Marie? No, it's really delicious. The enchilada sauce made it good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I really like this, Marie. I think this is fantastic. I do too, Kevin. I think that's a 10. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, if anyone makes this, I think you're going to enjoy it. Uh, if you do make it, leave comments. Let us know how you liked it, okay? Marie, I'll let you, uh, if you don't mind, close the video out for me. And I appreciate you helping me with it. Marie wasn't on camera much, but she did a lot of work in the background on this video. Okay. So, thank you very much, Marie. All right. All right. Y'all do what you love and love what you do, and we'll see y'all on the next video. Bye. Open up the window. I'm breathing in the last of September. I can feel the wind blow. And the late summer sky is like a giant ember Everything is turning into gold When the autumn leaves are playing chasing Puts a smile up on my face They leave their branches one by one
since I was a little.